Hello everyone! A few days ago I booted up my GameCube and ran into this error message. If you look at the calendar, you can see the date's very wrong and time pauses while the system is powered off. All signs point to a dead clock battery, so I'll be replacing it. It's a pretty simple fix, but I want to make the battery easier to replace, so I'll be adding a battery holder. First, I'll open up the GameCube using a GameBit screwdriver, which is the standard for Nintendo consoles, and you would have seen it if you watched my SNES repair video. After opening it, I need to find the clock battery, which is located on the controller board, and desolder it. While I'm getting started, I'd like to point out that this video marks the 12th project and first anniversary since I decided to revive this channel. My goal when restarting the channel was to release one video per month for at least a year. So huge thanks to all of you who have been following my channel, and for those who are new, please consider subscribing if you're enjoying my content. I plan to continue making videos and I have a few bigger projects in mind, but due to my full-time job and home life, I've got very little hobby time. This is one of the reasons I've been making relatively quick and easy content instead of the bigger stuff. I'm really hoping to get larger projects out in the next four to six months. As I've mostly been sticking to electronics, software, and gaming content, I'd like to hear from you. Are you enjoying these videos? Is there anything else you'd want to see? Any projects you have in mind? Please feel free to leave a comment. Anyway, now you'll see I'm removing the controller board. I need to pull the ribbon cable up gently to detach it, and then I've got to remove the screws that are holding the board to the plastic. There you can see the battery I'll be replacing. The board itself is held in with two Phillips head screws, so it's pretty easy to remove. Now I'll identify the positive and negative leads for the battery. They're printed on the board, but you can also tell by which side of the battery connects to which leg. Now I need to desolder the old battery and remove it, being careful not to damage the ribbon cable. I've got a standard CR2032 battery holder that I'll be soldering in place. It's a bit big for the board, as you can see by my struggle to fit it in place. If you're doing this, I'd recommend shaving off a bit of the plastic or getting a smaller holder. But as you can see, once I fit it in place, all I need to do is solder it and add a fresh battery. With the battery in, it's time to put the GameCube back together. I'm just going to follow the same steps as taking it apart, but in reverse. Now I'll turn it on, set the clock, restart it, and see if the clock value holds and continues counting while it's off. As you can see here on my test, it seems to be working. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.